next 20 seconds, I should see everyone with a pencil, a notebook, two colored pencils or colored writing utensils. Good job, Evan. And no other materials from other subjects on your desk.
Does that make sense? Was there something specifically about this problem that tripped you guys up? Because, again, only a third of you got this one right. So, Andrew. Um, I don't know why, but I don't know on the same page and answer it all. Maybe I just scroll down a bit and I see it's away, but because I thought it was A, but I don't know. I just think it's B. I think I'm going to scroll down and see it's A. Okay. Yeah, and you might have answered it right. I don't know exactly, but... Stella. I had false information on my chart. Stella. You had false, infor yeah. false information on your chart. False. What was your false information? I thought the Ashford had a tail and they were no bigger than 49 uh, kilometers. Who else also thought that? So someone from the asteroid group, I guess, had inaccurate research and it makes sense that this was the question that was missed the most because I did not teach this. Y'all taught each other about this. So if one of you guys accidentally put something wrong down, then that means that like half the class also doesn't understand it. So in the next few days, we will probably go over this a bit just to make sure you guys actually have the accurate information about asteroids, meteors, um, and comets in your notes. But um, again, if you had misinformation, <coughs> that's not really your fault, uh, and you shouldn't feel too bad because, again, only a third of y'all got it right. Andrew. Um, actually, the main was A because it was A for asteroid, you know, but I thought that was too good to be true, so I, then I, when I, so then I rechecked my stuff and I was like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I, I would not also, um take answers based on uh, the first letter of the word. Um, but, you know, to each their own. When and then we gotta move on. Um, I'm pretty sure I picked A. I, it's still possible I got it wrong because I know I, I, know I got one wrong and wrong. But, um, uh, cause I wasn't sure on the size at the time. <coughs> I'm sure of it now, but at the, when we were doing the test, I remember I was kind of second guessing myself on the size of an asteroid because I didn't really like research about that. Mm -hmm. But um yeah. Yeah. Again if that wasn't something that came up in the asteroid people in your boots' research, then that's not something you would have gotten. So um, again we will I will go over objects in space explicitly again later so that you guys actually have the accurate information. Um, but just so you know, this was the question that most of you missed. Now now you understand why. And then this one, about half of you got right. Michelle cuts out three circles from a sheet of paper to represent three planets. First circle with a radius of one unit is Earth. The second with a radius of four units represents Uranus. What is the radius of the third circle if it represents Jupiter? Talk to your table for a minute.
So if you're confused, you should tell me right now before we move on so that you don't miss another question like this on the final test. So no questions? So I'm expecting all of you to get any questions like this on the test completely right. We now have 10 minutes left for the actual lesson. Amazing. Perfect. Yay! 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 Woohoo! So, oh no. Which just means that we'll have to go into another science block. Oh no. So our objectives for today, or for this lesson, is it's going to be split into two parts. Thank you, Mary. Um, we're learning about seasons around the world. These are the objectives kind of for the whole lesson, but today specifically we are graphing data points, which seems kind of like a math thing, graphing, right? But in science, you have to be able to represent data in a lot of different ways, so that is why we're going to be practicing doing line graphs to compare temperatures. So seasons, seasonal changes. It is super, super sunny outside, right? It's about as sunny as it is in summer. Or that's what it looks like. Does it feel like summer though, right no. now? No. 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 Why? Talk about it at your tables. Like what you did with um, you know, the Native American slide decks, how they had this neat pink wonder graphic organizers. 
You're going to just do this in your science notebook. One thing you see in here, one thing that it makes you think, what pattern you notice, and then what question you have about what you're seeing on this chart. Once you've written that down, you may talk with the people at your table about it. One is moving and one is not. I think it's a yeah. Do not write, I see a graph. That's not even a graph, that's a chart. Oh, yeah. I see a chart. 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 I see so, if an instructor says, don't do this, you don't immediately, with your list, try to make it the next one of your comments. When she's saying, what do you see, is that one of the, yeah, what do you see, I think there's not a soul in here that doesn't know what the intention is, which is, what kinds of trends do you see? What do you notice about location or month or, and the temperature? This is an intelligent group of people, and I know that you are very young, but don't act like it every single time. End of statement. Mm -hmm. Go to work. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And if you look up there, right after what do you see, it literally says, what stands out to you? So that should give you an idea of what to put for that um, little section. Yeah. 